So why your golf swing isn't improving, no matter how hard you practice, is all about how you practice. So these are gonna be five mistakes I always see golfers do when it comes to them trying to improve their golf swing. So the first one here, not sticking to one thing. So I so often see golfers, they'll be practicing one thing one week, and then they'll give that a go, they'll try it, and then next week, they're going somewhere else because they're trying something didn't really work out. So you see top tour players, they'll be working on the same thing for years. So Justin Rose is a very good one. You'll see him working with this training aid specifically. And there are videos of him working on this training aid with this in between his arms from about three, four years ago. And there are recent ones of him working with this training aid in between his arms from this year. So if someone like that is working on the exact same thing for that amount of time, you can sure bet that you working on something for one week ain't gonna do a thing your golf swing ain't gonna prove. So the next mistake ties into the first one, and that is when you are practicing something, you don't practice it for nearly long enough. So let's say it's this training aid again. Let's say you're working on your trail arm movement, making it so it's working a little bit more in front of you in the downswing, not getting behind you. You might work on that for let's say a month, getting this in front, getting some good reps in, but then let's say after that month or so of practice with that, you hit some normal shots and you see your right arm moving a lot better, for example, you might think, I see it, I've got it. I see it visually that I've got it there. Time to move on to something else. Massive mistake. Just because you can see something visually start to change, that is no bearing on whether it's actually gone into your subconscious or not. You need to see it visually, and once you see it visually, whatever change you're making, you need to think, okay, brilliant. Now I need to grind on this and repeat it over and over and over again to embed it in there. So. If you think it's gonna take a month, times that by probably about six, and you'll probably be there. So once you see it visually, continue to practice it. Don't go and move on to something else soon after. So the third mistake, which is extremely common again, and again, with my ball training aid, this is about when someone has a drill to do. So let's say you've got a brilliant drill to do for your swing. Let's say again, right arm movement, I'm gonna use this ball. Just doing a little bit in your practice of the drill. See that so often, a player will be there at the driving range where 100 balls, 25 balls in of doing this drill. They think, that's enough. Let me go and do the rest of the golf balls without it, just thinking it. Wrong. You are not gonna be able to improve by just having a little sprinkling of the drill in there. In the early stages of making a change, you have to do every single ball with the drill you gotta do. So this is where, if I had 100 balls at the initial stage of making a change, I am sure going to practice with every single shot with this training aid if this is what I need to work on. Every shot, doing a drill, is it boring? Yes, is it hard? Yes, but you won't improve if it's not like that. You need to do every single shot doing it in the initial stages. A lot of you elongate your improvement so much, but like we said, just doing a sprinkling of the drill here and there. Every ball, do it with your drill. So the fourth mistake, and this is a biggie, and that is not doing enough practice swings and exaggerated practice swings. So often I'll see pretty much everyone at the driving range, they might, let's say if they do practice swings, they'll just be like this. Just little soft practice swings and then they'll go into their shot. They won't be doing their drill, of course, they'll just be trying to get it into their swing via conscious thought and they're pretty much wasting their time at the driving range. This is where we see the best players in the world, what are they doing in between shots? They are exaggerating what they want to do massively, and they're doing a lot of it. You'll see someone like Alex Noren, for example, on the European Tour and PJ Tour, he'll be doing the most crazy looking exaggerated movements going through in his practice swings. And then he'll try to replicate it with the golf ball when he's going and actually hitting a normal shot. A lot of you, will do, like we said, very useless practice swings where they're, they're just flailing your arms or you'll do just nowhere near enough. So that's where, again, let's say we're a golfer who wants to train their trail arm movement to be better. I would wanna see a player in between every shot hit three to five practice swings, let's say with something like this. So like an exaggerated dry drill where I'm training and getting that right arm in front of me doing what's called the nunchuck drill. It's just training that trail elbow to get more in front, which is gonna help me to shallow. And of course, let's say then, I've done five of those, I could then hit three balls, for example. I'm gonna get one for the video's sake. Well, guess what? 
my drill. So, and then here we go, another one. And then let's say that was my third one, I'll go straight back again to doing that. So that's where you can then have a practice session. That can be 50 balls, and you could have so much progress that'll be made by those 50 balls, more progress than you would probably have in a good couple of weeks of practice. So that's why it matters so much with those practice swings, exaggerating, prioritizing them, and then doing your drill with the golf ball. So this last one is the biggest mistake of them all. That is not videoing your swing when you're practicing. You need to video your golf swing. So when you're videoing your swing, let's say you've gone for a lesson, you know what you've got to work on, then really look and see whether you're actually doing what you want to do. So with the drill, it's made a lot easier. So let's say I'm doing, I don't know, preset rotation drill to change it up. I know if I do this drill, I will most likely get in my positions. I can then check the video just on the few first ones to see if I'm setting up to it properly, doing the drill, how I intentionally am wanting to do it. And then I can go and hit some without videoing. But generally, if you're gonna use, let's say your conscious brain to try and get something into your golf swing, video your swing. Whenever I go to the driving range to practice, I'm every single time I'm there, the only one videoing my golf swing. The only one out of a busy driving range. That is wrong. It's not, it's not right at all, guys. You need to video your swing. I'm not meaning tearing apart your golf swing, looking at things and changing things that you shouldn't. That's why a good golf coach is very, very useful for you to have. So you've got to visually get that feedback to know what you're doing, whether it's right or wrong, whether the correct feel that you're having is implementing. So like, let's say you're trying to fix an over the top golf swing, for example, to change it up again. You just feeling like you're trying to swing on a good path, then you might look at your camera and thinking, oh God, I'm swinging nowhere near on path. I'm still over the top. But then you might have to feel a very extreme feel. Go, okay, I'm gonna feel like I'm gonna massively snap hook this ball from the inside, where you feel that. And then you look on camera and you're like, my God, I actually swung on path there. I felt like I was hugely on the in to out. Feel versus real is massive. So if you're not filming your swing, you will always just be going by what you feel. And it's a big thing in golf, what you feel, like we said, is never real. So that's where you've got to visually see it. And the only way you can do that is by recording your swing or most of your swings when you practice. So guys, as you can see, the battle for improving at golf is more about how you're practicing. So you can be practicing the right thing, but if you're doing it wrong in your practice sense, you're not gonna improve. So if you enjoyed this video, click that like button. If you want more golf instruction just like this, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell button too, to be notified every time I put out this video. So, start practicing a little bit better and you will improve.